Hi everybody, how you doing? What are we on? We're on Friday. I know, it's gone quickly this week, hasn't it? It just vanished. I don't know where the day week's gone. Oh, I'm just going to fix the machine. I can see that the, uh, that's not in properly. And Drew's going on it today. So, how's everybody doing? Everybody all right? Hopefully you can hear me. Um, I'm just going to, I've just realised I've left my notifications on as well. So I'm just going to uh, turn those off so that we don't get lots of pings coming through. Otherwise you can hear them all. Can everybody hear me okay? Who's about today? Anybody there? No? Oh, we've got one person on. Lovely. Um, yeah, so what are we going to do today? What's everybody up to? It's horrible out here today. The weather's vile here in Dennis. It's really rainy and windy and got proper April showers going on after a lovely few days. So it's, uh, it's been a shame, isn't it, really, that uh, it's all a bit... The weather's turned. It makes it a bit staying in hor more horrible, isn't it? You can't even get out in the garden. So, uh, so anyway, lots of crafting now, though. Weather's turned nasty. Can't do the gardening. Going to have to do some sewing. So what we're going to do today is we're going to do make some Moors bags, um, which are... Um, Moors bags is a charity that... Um, I've been trying to get plastic bags out of society, basically, keeping stuff out of landfill. Hi, Linda. Um, so, yeah, trying to keep um, plastic bags out of landfill. And um, they've come up with a little pattern, which is a completely free download. You can put it, go on to, if you Google Moors bags, M-O-R-S bag, and um, go onto their website. There's a little free instruction on there on how to make one of these tutorials. Hi, Sean. Hi Sheila. Oh, look, there's a few people coming on now. Lovely. Um, so they, um, there, there's a free pattern on there to make these bags, and the whole idea is that you make them out of. Hi Susie. Um, you make them out of like old curtains, old duvet covers, old fabric you've got lying around. Um, so not only does that fabric not end up in landfill. Um, but also you use the the tote bags to do your shopping rather than buying um plastic bags and things. So. Um, they do say you make two, you make one for yourself and you make one to give a friend and then hopefully that friend will make one and pass it on and pass it on. Um, so ever so simple to do and to prove how simple they, they are, um, Drew's going to do one today with me. So I've got him on this side of the camera, he's going to be on this side with me and Alex is being cameraman today so we'll, uh, we'll see how he, do, how he does, <laughs> see, if it, see if he gets the shots in right. <laughs> So I'm going to get Alex to turn his phone off though because he needs to concentrate because at the minute he's just browsing through his phone. <laughs> so um, so I'm going to turn you around. I'm going to give the phone to uh, to Alex so that he can film and I'm going to show um, Drew how to make a Moors bag um, and then hopefully give it a go. You know, if you're stuck in with kids um, and you're a sewer, give them a go, give it a go because it's really simple, straight line sewing and it'll keep them occupied for a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to turn you around. Oh, there we go. There's Alex. Sorry, Al. You're on camera. Uh, oh, 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 hang on. Right, hang on. I'm going to turn you around. Alex, there we go. You got it? <laughs> Press the wrong button there. Sorry, guys. I was a bit of backwards forwards then. You got Alex in shot and then me in shot and then back to me again. So, hi. Can you s everyone see me still? Everybody hear me okay? So, Moore's bags are these little tote bags like this, okay? They've got nice little handles on them and they're really sturdy okay you don't you double stitch them so they're nice and sturdy um the pattern online is really really simple okay and it is a free download you, you don't even need to download it you can just go on there and the instructions are there on your on their website they also do these little labels which you can order we have got some in the shop though um we won't post them out because they're they're, they're free and obviously it's postage and stuff but um, when, when this is all over, you can come and pick up some of the, the labels from us or you can order them directly from Moore's Bag themselves. Um, and if you order them from Moore's Bags, I think they're five pence per label. So you, know, you can order like 10, 20 or something and it all, all helps with the charity and everything. So really, really nice and simple. Drew's going to have a go at this today. So he did have a little practice yesterday. I did let him loose on my sewing machine. So he did practice so that he's not too... Uh, <laughs> so but these are brilliant for an absolute beginner and even if you're not teaching one of your kids to sew but you want to have a little go this is a really really simple project for you to get started with okay so I've got another one up here this is oh, I'm just gonna get that one down a second I like everything falling so this is the one that Drew made yesterday okay so these were just made out of some scraps of fabric that somebody donated to the shop 
they brought in a bag of scraps and there was enough there to make a couple of uh, couple of bags so and give you put those out of the way what you need is you need two pieces of fabric so again I'm using a pair of old IKEA curtains I made a load of drawstring bags for you know the um, care workers key workers the other day using this but this was a bit that was left over so I'm gonna make them back with well Drew's gonna make it back with it so we've got you what you need is two pieces of fabric which are 18 inches by 4 inches these make the handles if you want your handles to be longer if you want them to be an over the you know over the shoulder strap rather than a carry strap you just make these longer I would I would double the length I do them like 36 by 4 inches okay so what we're going to do is we're going to start by making the handles and then once we've done that you need just one piece of fabric okay which is 40 inches long like that hopefully Al can get me in <laughs> 40 inches long by 18 inches wide okay again if it's not quite 18 inches wide or it's not quite 40 inches long it doesn't matter if you want to do it in two pieces because you've you know you're going to do different colors back and front that's absolutely fine you just need to put a, a seam in the in the bottom but if you've got old curtains and stuff these have been washed obviously that's just why they're looking a bit wrinkled but I have I have ironed them but they didn't iron out very well and um, so what we're going to do is we're going to start by doing the handles and Drew's going to do the sewing so I'm going, I'm going to be his iron ironing guru because it's easier in the space you want to iron your fabrics now I'm going to starch them just a little bit try and get the creases out a bit Ooh, I need more starch savvy we do have starch savvy on our website if anybody needs it and we've got like basting spray and all going on there this afternoon can get Alex to put it on okay so how's everybody doing everybody okay anybody any comments there Al anybody commenting um I'm saying hi hi Drew hi Alex cool a couple hello, people joining in Bab what are you all working on at the moment because it's it's horrible out there isn't it the weather's vile so I've just ironed this in half okay right wrong sides together I'm going to open it out Okay, and then we're gonna. Can you? Hopefully, mm -hmm. you can see it. I'll, I don't know if you can come a bit closer. Ooh, stand the iron up. You're gonna fold this edge into the centre like that. Okay, and go all the way down. Like if you were making a sort of a bias binding type thing, but obviously this isn't cut on the bias. And then we're gonna do the same with that side. Okay, we do bag straps like this quite a lot. It's a lot lot easier than having to turn a th through a small loop. And then when you turn it, fold it up again like that, okay, all those raw edges are enclosed. Okay, so letting Drew loose on the uh, sewing machine. I'm going to turn it down for him, okay, because so, uh, it's on at full speed at the moment. So we're going to turn it down a weeny bit. All right, you ready, Grooves? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so what you want to do is you can pin it if you want to, but you're going to stitch down all the way down that edge and you're going to do it on both sides yeah. okay so let me just move the microphone out of the way a second here we go so you come how are you doing you're right yeah. so put your foot down so you line it up and away you go okay do you want it slower than that no. you're right okay so this is really really simple straight line sewing okay the whole point of these bags is they take about 15 minutes to make one 15 20 minutes to make one um and drew had he has to, he, had, he did use a sewing machine at school many many years ago he was older than he looks <laughs> 10 years ago yeah about 10 years ago um and he had what a 10 15 minute practice yesterday making one so it really is just straight line sewing okay so there we go needle it up and then you're going to do the same the other side okay cool so while he's doing the other side i'm going to iron this one for for you guys okay um and while i you don't need to just watch me iron um if uh if you've got any questions please do comment underneath okay and alex will read them out for me and uh, i'll see if i can answer any questions we've been uh you're right yeah it's been you going a bit wonky, so just line it back up a bit, okay? That's it, so lift the foot. There you go. Okay, that's it. And just move it so that it goes back in line. 
Remember, these are these are shopping bags. This isn't a an heirloom quilt or anything. Or you know, you're not going to be wearing this to a, a posh do. <laughs> it's not a dressmaking or anything. So it doesn't matter if you go a weeny bit wonky. I've done it wonky. Okay. Okay. So just lift the needle up. There we go. Just break the thread. There we go. Break the thread like that, and just start back here. Okay. Do you remember about keeping the the edge of the fabric on the edge of the foot? Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't matter. There you go. That's fine. Lovely. Yeah. Go for it. There we go. I think I need to put a new needle in my machine. It's sounding a bit, sound, sounding a bit um wonky. Going to left. Yeah. Okay. So do you remember what we said yesterday about keeping your fingers here so yeah. you can hold it kind of a bit more steady? If you hold it down here, it's got far more chance to walk around. Yeah. So if you just keep it about here, okay. Yeah. And don't worry if it goes off too much. I. That's that'll be fine. Just. Just make it come back this way, okay? So, do you want it slower? It's a bit slower. There you go. Got it? Make it go that way. There you go. And then you can reline it back up, yeah? There you go. Got it? Okay, so. It doesn't matter, remember, these are just handles on a bag, on a shopping bag. These are going to be shoved in the boot of your car, you know, have all sorts put in them. So as long as they're nice and strong and sturdy, it doesn't matter if your top stitching is not totally straight. Okay. So, um, yeah, has anybody got any questions? Alex, anybody commenting? Anybody got questions? Uh, there's a couple of comments. Uh, What's that? Linda Head says, well done, Drew. Or oh. doing well, Drew. <laughs> um, He's getting there, isn't he? <laughs> no oh. questions so far. No? Okay. Um... Tomorrow, just I'm just going to talk you through some bits what we're going to do tomorrow. So tomorrow we're going to be looking at jelly rolls and charm packs and layer cakes. And we're going to do a disappearing nine patch block. Um, but I'm going to do it in all like the three sizes. So you can see how it looks when you do it in different size. Um, so you want to do exactly the same on that one, lovely. Okay, just straight down. Oh, you didn't do too bad a job. It's only gone wonky once. All right, hands. <laughs> That size better than that size, but it's not too bad at all. <laughs> um, so we're going to do a disappearing nine patch block, okay? So you'll be able to either sew along with us or, or just watch, okay? Um, but I'm going to show you in the different um, different types of pre-cuts so you can see how different the, uh, the pattern comes out. And there's lots of variations as well. You can cut it all different ways um, and stuff to, to make different patterns. So we're going to do that tomorrow. Um, and then Sunday, we're not. there's no video on Sunday. Um, and then I can't remember what I'm doing next week, but Tuesday night next week, um, we if you go to a site called on Facebook called Co Crafters, it's the people who run ICHF who run the creative craft shows. They are they've put together loads of like um, designers and teachers and stuff who are doing lots of different um, classes and stuff online. So next Tuesday evening at 7 p.m. Um, I'll be live on there teaching um, teaching a tutorial. So um, yeah, that'll be a bit that'll be interesting because it'll be completely different people. People I I don't know. Well, a bit more scary, isn't it? <laughs> um, so yeah, so that's happening next week as well. But we will have a full list of list of classes and all going ahead for you. Okay. Um, this is really not um, ironing out very well. I'll give it a bit more starch, I think, just to. There you go. How did you do with that one? All right. Is it because I was watching you? Is that what it is? If I watched you, it's uh, you go wonky. That's all right. At that's the end not it too was bad. Fine, but the yeah. start was awful. Okay, so you want to do the other other side as well. So that side needs to be the other. That's it. So flip it over. That's it. Yeah. Yeah. Got it. So you're sewing that side. Okay. Um, I was going to say, yeah, we've been really busy with postage as well the last few days, which is really nice. Um, lots and lots of you ordering stuff, getting all your works in progress and uh, and stuff finished and your UFOs, which is nice. Did you all watch Sarah yesterday? She did some zips for you. Um, how to make a little zipped pouch and what else was there? Oh, and the cushion, how to put a zip in a cushion as well. So uh, yeah, she did that and Dave was her cameraman yesterday, so she did well like that. So yeah, we've got lots going on though. Lots going on. Don't forget the raffle's still going as well. There's the um, the two hundred pound raffle. There are, I think, there's ten left, um, and then we will draw that live. Okay, we will do that on on one of the Facebook lives when that's gone. So um, so yeah, I think there's about ten left on the website. So do do have a little look at that. 
Um, and while Drew's just finishing up that handle, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what we're going to do with, I'm just going to move the microphone again, with the large piece of fabric. So like I said, it's 18 inches by 40. And on both ends, on the short end, the 18 inch end, okay, you want to just iron in a little hem, okay, about, what's that, about a half inch hem. So you're going to iron in a hem like that. Okay, and that one there. And then you're going to do it again because you want a little double hem. Now with the second fold, you want it to be just slightly bigger. Give yourself an extra little bit because you want do want quite a sturdy turnover. Can, hopefully you can see that. That's about just the top of my thumb there. It's okay, so you want a, a good sturdy turnover. Okay. Mm -hmm. oh, that's, not, that's not too bad. So you're getting better by the end of the second one. <laughs> You've missed a bit. Okay. He's quite, he's quite fussy with his sewing. When he was doing the one yesterday, he really didn't like it if he got it wrong. <laughs> okay, so ironed in a hem there, and I'm going to do exactly the same on the other end, okay? And we're going to iron in a, iron in a hem this side. So, smallish one first, like this. Okay, like that. And then a slightly bigger one at the second one okay and that just gives it a bit more stability at the top of the bag by doing that second slightly se bigger second one okay oh i'm just ironing some poor budge's head there <laughs> okay so i'm just gonna move this one out of the way a second <sighs> get this out of the way so i so drew can do this next bit okay so once you've ironed that in okay you want to put start by putting the handle in okay so i'm gonna get you to do this bit groups <sighs> So you want to find the centre of your piece of fabric, okay? So we're going to fold it in half like that and find the centre. Okay, and then you want to put your straps in. Make sure they're not twisted. You want to put the straps in so they're about six and a half inches apart. Now, I just use my ruler. I'm going to get Drew to do it. And you're going to put your ruler like that in the centre and then you're going to tuck in. I would just I'd get rid of these... You can tell he's my son because all the threads are still hanging out. I'm terrible for that. And you're going to tuck that in underneath the hem like that, okay? Both sides and pin that in place. So, do you want to do that? Uh -uh. That's it. Yeah. Drew quite likes the binding clips rather than pins. It's a bit easier, I think, sometimes. So you want to make sure that that's not twisted, okay? And put it in about six and a half inches and you're just tucking it in underneath that hem. So at the moment, it looks like the handles are the wrong way round, but it does work, I promise. You've just got to trust in the process. Got more clips? There we go. Okay, and then you're going to do exactly the same for the other side. So if you want to do that on the, on the other side, I'll go out of the way for you. Fold it in half, yeah, and just find the centre. So just crease it quite hard with your fingers so you've got the centre. Okay. Like that. And then you're going to just put your ruler down the centre like that, and then you're going to tuck in the, the other handle either side. Okay. You know, if you've got little ones, you know, sort of seven, eight, nine at home, I mean, I know a lot of you haven't, but, you know, if you have got kids at home, um, this is a really nice project just for... Have you got any more clips yeah, there? Yeah, got one? Um, because it is just straight line, so you can do all the pinning and clipping for you know, or clipping for them and ironing, and they can just do the straight line sewing. Yeah, I'm working. It's because I'm using my right hand. Can you do that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's because Drew's also a left hander as well, which means that my scissors. Oh, I think it might be these scissors. I think they're knackered. Somebody's been at my scissors. Do you want to grab the orange ones? It should be a lot easier. My scissors. Here we go. My scissors, are, those white ones are really blunt. Okay, that's it. So again, make sure it's not twisted. Tuck it in. That's it. That yeah. Okay, there you go. All right, so I'm just going to get rid of the ruler. And now you're going to stitch down all the way, just down this hem. Okay, so all the way down. You want to be quite close to this edge. You want to be about an eighth of an inch in from there. You're just going to put a, a line of stitching in. So... I'm going to make it easy on Drew and I'm going to move the, the needle over so that you can still use the edge of foot. 
okay so you're still going to line it up on this edge here yeah. okay and you're going to stitch down actually don't i actually moved it the wrong way because <laughs> you're a left hander i'm having to reverse it for him <laughs> okay so you're going to still going to keep the, the foot on this edge here but i've moved the needle over so it's down this side okay, right, okay. so you're going to put a line straight line of stitching you keep this this edge against that edge there yeah right, okay there we go okay it's very difficult doing it uh doing it a distance because drew's left-handed as well so it makes it easier for him when it's on the on the left okay are you right with that or is that fast enough or do you want it a bit faster okay. there you go be brave go for it okay remember to stop and get that binding clip out of the way so you just want to hold that one in place and let it go across. It's a bit mean of me really making him do this, but uh, oh, you're getting brave now and he's going fast. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you guys that these really are so easy that anybody can do them. You know, um, Drew's been obviously watches me quite a lot, you know, with my sewing and stuff anyway, but he's never really had a go at the sewing machine, not since he was very little. So uh, I just wanted to show you guys that these are incredibly simple. It's all straight lines. And as long as you can sew a vaguely straight line, <laughs> you'll make a decent bag, you know? And the whole point of these is they don't have to be pristine. They're, you know, they're ideal for just leaving in the car so you've got something when you go to the supermarket. And it you know, uses up all those bits and pieces. Any comments, anybody saying anything? Uh, yeah, Jane Case asks if you have an itinerary for next week. Um, we don't at the moment, but I will put something together and let you know. We're definitely going to do, I'll do a small crochet at some point in the week. Um, Sarah will do one as well. But again, I'm not sure, uh, probably Thursday. Okay, John, do the other side. Yep. Um, we've got our block of the week on Wednesday, so that will be happening. So I've got a, a really nice new block for Wednesday. Um, Oh, what did we say we were going to do on Monday? My brain's gone now. I've got a list somewhere, but I will, um, I will, uh, I'll put it, put some ideas up for you on, um, on Facebook later on today. Okay, with exactly what we're going to do. Okay. Anything else? Um, there's some more comments saying well done, Drew. Yeah, he's not doing too badly actually, is he? I'm, I'm kind of impressed really for uh, not having a, ever had a, a proper go. He's, uh, he's picked it up quite quickly. Um, Beth did say she was in the watch and then laugh at me. <laughs> oh, Beth, that's me. Beth's she's Drew's girlfriend. She's up in Carlisle, uh, um, at university up there. And uh, she's had to stay up there at the moment. She's not home yet. But that's mean. He's doing really well, Beth. Don't laugh at him. Because <laughs> I was laughing at crocheting the other day. Well then, then you deserve to be laughed at if you were laughing at a crochet. <laughs> she was like, oh, it all fell apart. I was just like, why well, must have done it wrong? I was like, I was in your land instructions. I was just like, well, oh, you haven't followed it properly. It was oh, falling apart. That's not good, is it? If she was following my instructions and it fell apart. <laughs> okay, go it all the way down. There we go. And we need to the end. So the bag is nearly almost done, okay? There's only about two more little bits of sewing to do. So once you've sewn the handle in like that, okay, you're gonna flip the handle up so it's facing the right way, like this. Again, if you wanna clip that in, so if you clip it, clip it up at the top like that, just clip it in there, that's it. So if you do that with all four, just fold it up and clip it in. And then once you've folded it up, we're going to put a line of stitching just along the top there, okay? That one. Because I give, I give everything, him everything right-handedly and he's got to swap it over. Maybe I'll get Alex on the machine next week. <laughs> he's saying he's not a chance, I don't think. <laughs> There's no way I'd get him in front of the camera. <laughs> Is there anything you guys would like to do? You know, if, if while I'm writing the itinerary, because we've got at least another three weeks of this lockdown now, haven't we, after the news last night? Where am I stitching it? Oh, okay. So what you want to do is I would keep it this side, okay? 
and you just want to put a line of stitching. If you grab one of the Frixon pens out of the pot, that's it. And what you want to do, and I'll show you guys as well, okay? You just want to put a line of stitching from about here to here. So you're going to go straight the way across like that, okay? And you're going to back stitch at the beginning and back stitch at the end, and you do that on each of them. Okay, does that make sense for what I told you to yeah. do, yeah? So just back, start here, back, go forward and then back stitch all the way along and back stitch again. Okay, there you go. So what would you, what would you like, guys, what, what bits are you enjoying of this? Um, you know, give me some feedback. Um, do you prefer a full project? Do you like doing different blocks? Because I, I can come up with a lot, there's hundreds of different blocks we can do. Obviously we've got the block of the week, but if you want more blocks through the week, that's fine. Do you want little projects? What what do you fancy doing? Is there anything you can um, you know, that you particularly want? Are you enjoying out of these different ones that we, we've done? Um, you know, I know you, a lot of you guys made a lot of the little handy snap pouches. Um, do you want little projects like that? You know, let let us know. Okay, please do comment and let us know what it is that you that you fancy doing because um, you know we've got we've got many more weeks of this yet, so I've got lots of lots of days to fill. <laughs> So let me know what you have and what you fancy doing, okay? Um, I think we're going to have a little go at a reading pillow as well next week. I'm going to show you, but uh, show you how to do uh, do a reading pillow and maybe use the alphabet block, uh, alphabet template to um, to do that. So, so Drew's just stitching the handle down now. So and just back stitching a little bit just to secure it. And away you go. Go and then just back stitch at the end just to keep it all nice and secure. Okay, well done. That's it, needle up. Who's excited for sewing bee? I can't wait. I saw online the, all the contestants and all the little line up, which was good. Um, well, that starts next Wednesday, so I'm very excited about that. Pardon? Oh, the bobbins, yeah, bobbins run out. Two seconds, let me just, right, I'm gonna have to swap places with you. You sit there a second. I'm just going to swap places and just check whether I've got another one ready to go. I don't think I have. Ah, oh, see, that's bad, uh, bad prep work that, wasn't it, ladies? You're going to have to wait for me to do a bobbin now. <laughs> so, any comments, Al? Anything uh, there? A lot of people were saying that um, they're really enjoying blocks. Okay, And they're cool. loving doing blocks. Okay, I can maybe do you. I know we've got the block of the week, but I can maybe do some... Other, other blocks as well if you like um, we can do that absolutely we'll do some different patterns with you um, if I make them all 12 and a half finished size then um, then you can put them all together then eventually but yeah okay so we'll definitely do a, another single block not a sew along but a tutorial on a block next week an extra one next week anything else uh, some people saying the reading pillow sounds great yeah we can um, do a reading pillow and a lot of block comments. <laughs> a lot of block comments. You all on block comments. Okay, no problem. Let's. So next week, I'll definitely do a crochet one again and show you a new stitch. I think we're going to do the waffle stitch next week. Um, we've got the block of the week for those who are doing it on Wednesday. Monday, then I will. I'll do a new block. Okay, I'll do another block for you. Won't be a, like I said. Won't be a sew along, but it'll be something you can watch and then um, come. You know, do in your own time. Okay. Right, nearly there with this bag. Two seconds. I put the heating on earlier because I was so cold. I'm flipping boiling now. <laughs> Absolutely boils. I'm sat right by the radiator and it's not good. Not good. Okay, so let's just thread this machine. Still haven't bought a new machine. I think still thinking about it. I still haven't bought one. Okay, so yeah, it is. It's not the easiest one to thread this one. I'm just going to do something I, I always tell you guys not to do, and that is put the needle needle down when you're threading your putting the foot down when you're threading your needle. I couldn't get at it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Right, Drew. There you go. Ready? Okay. So Drew's just going to finish the last bit of those handles, and then we're going to put the whole thing together. Uh, so you just want to do it on those two, okay? So yep. just finish that bit there. So, um, how about some foundation piecing as well? Is there anybody anybody enjoy foundation piecing? 
that's something we could have a little look at. We haven't done any yet on any of these Facebook Lives. So we could do that. Okay. That's it. So just do your little bit of back stitch and away you go again. Perfect. Oh, that definitely needs a new needle, that machine. You can hear it like really punching through the fabric. I'll change it in a minute. I'll change it once we're done. Okay. And we're nearly done. We've got like one se what, two seams left to do and that's it. Okay. So I also think you could make smaller versions of these as well and you use them as gift bags. You know, if you cut these down in half and rather than buying paper gift bags, you could do them as um you could do material gift bags, a bit like we did with the drawstring bags. You could definitely do these as well. Or you could make really nice little book bags for your kids or grandkids. Um so yeah. Okay, nearly there. Well done, Drew. Mm. that's okay okay so um if you i didn't i haven't got i haven't got another one in the house <coughs> in the shop at this point if you wanted to put the moore's bag label on that's when you would put it on okay and you just literally pin it in on one of the bags on one of the sides of the bags and just sew all the way around okay we're not going to because i haven't got one here i um i didn't bring it pick up any extra from the shop so last little bit you want to do is just because this is a raw edge we're going to do a french seam okay so it feels a little bit odd because you're going to sew on the right side of the fabric and it looks like the seam is on the outside but then we're going to turn it okay so you want to put your top edges together so you've got a fold there and you're going to stitch down about a quarter of an inch away from the edge okay so i'm going to move again i'm going to move the needle over so that we're a quarter of an inch away and you want quite a small seam okay which is why you want to go quarter of an inch or under on this are you go for it yeah. there we go so edge of foot so you're going on this edge of the foot yeah all the way down there we go. he's not doing too badly is he i'm quite impressed with him i'll make one of my boys crafty eventually they're all quite science nerdy boys all of them all geeks all of them i am the mother of geeks and they all like they're all science and maths and gaming i haven't really got got an art well drew does drew did do a little bit of art and still does a bit of painting now and then but yeah when you think all my you know i'm very crafty and i've got a visual arts degree and all the rest of it you'd think one of them would have been a bit more arty so uh, i'll get one of them into something definitely <laughs> okay any comments there, Al? Anybody? Um, a lot of people are agreeing that foundation piecing sounds great. Cool. Okay. Yeah, we'll do that. Absolutely. Let's. Um, I'll put that in for maybe Friday next week then. Okay. We'll do some foundation piecing. So, okay. So if you line those top edges up, yeah. yeah. Perfect. There you go. Once you, like your first one with these, it took, when I did the first one, it took me probably about 25 minutes. Once you've done one, honestly, they are so quick to do. You can do them in about 10 minutes, cut all your pieces and just go for it. So, right, okay, so quick recap then. So Monday I'll do a new block. Tuesday we'll do some crochet. Wednesday we've got block of the week. Thursday I think Sarah's going to do something. Um, Friday then I'll do some foundation piecing. And then keep commenting, let me know what you think. And we'll do we'll do a, a bit of a poll, a bit of a viewer's choice. What do you want to do on Saturday? <laughs> we haven't done a thread catcher yet, actually. A thread catcher might be a good idea to do as well. Okay. Right, so it looks a bit odd at the moment because your seam is on the outside. Okay, but what you're gonna do is you're gonna turn it that way, okay? Like that. And now we're going to do another wider seam on this this way so it encloses all those raw edges from the front, okay? And that's called a French seam and they use it a lot in um, uh, dressmaking, okay? I'm going to just iron this quickly for grooves. Sorry, I've just realised I've been calling him grooves. It's a, it's a nickname. It's, um, it's true, obviously, but uh, yeah, grooves is a nickname. He's been grooves since uh, my dad, bless him called him groups when he was a, a baby and uh it's just a nickname now and here we go so i'm just going to iron those little seams out just give them a roll between your fingers to get the seam right on the very edge okay and then you're going to sew down again both sides please drew we're going to move the needle back over to the normal position now so that it's a wider seam 
okay and make sure you back stitch top and bottom okay because yeah. you want a bit of extra um strength particularly at the top of these just you know they're shopping bags so you want them to not the handles not to come out <laughs> okay there we go that's it just back stitch and then away you go again like to see your examples as well ladies so if you do make one of these bags or do do them with the kids or your grandkids or you know teach your husbands to sew mind you would you really want your husbands touching your fabric scissors and your machines i'm not sure i would um, <laughs> should get phil doing it phil's back my husband back in london at the moment because he's had to go back for work um so which is quite nice because i've got the bed to myself again yay um but yeah maybe i should get him on the sewing machine he did try and sew for me actually, bless him. When, um, for my 40th birthday, um, he threw me a big party and um, he tried to make cushions no in, um, did it? Back yeah, I pressed it Tried to make cushions. He was living, living at my mum's at the time because he was working in Worcester and he was living at, at my mum's house. Borrowed my mum's sewing machine and tried to make just some square cushions in the colour theme of the room. Yeah, my mum took over quite quickly, bless her. <laughs> he didn't do very well, but probably just lack of practice. He's a, my mother-in-law is a, is a very good seamstress, so he should know what he's doing, really, because he's grown up with people sewing. So, okay, you right with that one? And then you go on that one. We're nearly done. We're one seam away from being done. There we go. I'll set on the back stitch. And away we go. Mm -hmm. So what have you guys, have you got planned for this, for this afternoon? What are you doing? Are you finishing off projects? I've seen some beautiful things come through. There's been some of the lovely blocks you've sent me. Um, Jen sent me her Dresden quilt that she's nearly finished, which was lovely. Um, what else have I seen? Oh, some lovely, you've been, you guys have been to do some really beautiful work. Really, really lovely work. So, any, any comments there, Al? Anybody saying anything? Linda said that's not going to happen in reply to the husband's sewing. <laughs> No, you don't want to teach Bri to sew then, Linda, no? Get him on the sewing machine? I wouldn't let him touch your sewing machine either, to be honest. <laughs> Anybody else? Anyone else got any comments? Uh, people saying thread catcher would be great. Cool, cool. We'll definitely do a thread catcher as well then. There we go. So you would just trim off all your ends, okay? And that's your bag finished. Well, that's Drew's bag finished. <coughs> so, so, there we go. Okay, nice big tote bag. Really, the handles, as you can see, by doing them in, in the hem like that, they're really nice and strong. They'll take a nice lot of weight. But these are ideal for using up all those bits of fabric and stuff that you know, you've got lying around. You could do a fat quarter back in front. You, know, you could do them really scrappy if you wanted to. You know, um, obviously, you, if you're going to do a scrappy, you would have to, I think you'd probably have to line them because you'd see all the, the seams. But you know, there's lots and lots of things that you can uh, get away with doing. Okay, So there we go absolute beginner can learn to sew so i think he did a really good job thanks drew for uh, getting it i can't believe i actually got him this side of the camera i didn't think he, he was going to <laughs> didn't think he i didn't think he was gonna i thought he was gonna chicken out but uh but yeah so yeah have a little go at those go on to moore's bags if you google moore's bags m-o-r-s bag um on google and there's that free pattern on there um, make some, give, give them to your friends. You know, you could drop them for non-contact on people's doorways if you're allowed out. You know, don't go out, but, you know, unless you absolutely have to. But um, yeah, they're, um, they're brilliant ones for make to make now, ready for when we are allowed back out, okay? So any other last comments there, Al? Anything at all? Uh, that's a well done, Drew. He did, he did well, really well, didn't he? I'm proud of him. I'm gonna stick to the directing. Yeah. You're gonna stick to directing on, the, on that side, are you? <laughs> He didn't do too badly then. <laughs> cool. Um, right, thank you for joining us, ladies. Um, I'm back tomorrow. We've got disappearing nine patch block. I've got some really lovely techniques to show you with that as well. Drew's going to be back the other side of the camera. And I will see you then. Bye, ladies. See you soon.